To control or minimize fly population, one must understand the reasons behind its growth. There are four basic reasons why you have major fly problem. First, large volumes of manure in concentrated breeding areas that cannot be removed frequently. Second, short life cycle of a fly combined with its high and speedy reproduction ability. Third, high biotic potential. The fourth reason is man-made reason and that is improper use of chemicals leading to the development of resistance. Each of the poultry facility used in poultry production has its own fly problems and hence unique management needs. This is a typical breeder unit and this is a typical North Indian poultry with a two-storied structure. Here fly management needs will be totally different from those required at other poultry facilities. Fly seasons differ from region to region. There is a direct correlation with temperature and relative humidity. However, in the coastal area, the problem can be throughout the year. These are some of the common fly management failures. Sanitation, litter management, moisture control, improper pesticide application, resistance and improper control measures. Development of resistance to chemicals is the main reason for failure of a lot of chemicals. The same has been reported since 1959 and is the only reason which renders new chemicals ineffective. When the flies develop resistance, there is a natural tendency among farmers to give double dose of the toxicant. But this is ineffective as the LD50 value is several times higher. There are many reasons to control flies and the most important among them is health. Flies are capable of carrying more than 100 pathogens. They can also transmit more than 23 dreaded diseases in humans and animals. Being natural food for birds, there is a tendency to pick the flies which are there in the feeding trays. Flies create unpleasant work environment. Everybody is disturbed by flies and even the president of a superpower is not spared. Flies also create social problems, creating unhappy neighbors. It is important to monitor fly population in order to take wise controlled decisions. Visual observations of fly population are subjective and misleading. There are several methods to monitor fly population like moving tape count, sticky fly tapes, spec fly count, baited jug trap or larval sampling. Always use standardized quantitative method to monitor flies. You have to always maintain fly inspection data sheet out of the data which has been monitored on your farm. This is an image of fly population pyramid. Out of the total fly population, adults constitute only 15% while other stages account for the rest. Hence, it is desirable to focus on the rest 85% rather than the 15% adult population which can be controlled with the help of insecticides, baits and traps.